Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today this is part 2 of the Close Shave Achievement Guide and we're doing all of the locations for the Knife Flight Challenge which is to fly between buildings on your side in a jet. So, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is grab a jet from Fort San Kudo. Now you should know where that is because, you know, if you'd explored San Andreas, which should be the first thing that you should do in GTA, then you'll know where it is. So once you've got that, you'll need to fly to these locations and fly through these buildings. So the first set of buildings we're flying through is at the top left of Los Santos through these buildings marked on this map like right here. What you want to do is come in with the jet, low and steady, get yourself stable, make sure your landing gear is out so you go much slower, turn yourself and go through it and just don't panic. Sometimes I panic on these but just stay calm and you'll do it. The second one now is right here on the map as you can see, it's kind of in Los Santos but it's not the top left, it's you know there. And for this one you want to be doing east to west. And there's these two buildings here, it's pretty hard to uh, miss this one, it's easy to do. Fly high, obviously, and then there you go, 2 out of five, 15. So for this one now, it's 3 and 4, we're in the same location, there's 3 uh, buildings, they're not necessarily tall, they're pretty uh, smallish to do. But for the first one, you want to be doing east to west, uh, south to north, sorry, as you can see here, and then just tilt like that and through. Just don't panic, because that one really got me then, as you can see. Now this one, you want to be doing north to south. So I don't know why I said east to west at all. And again, you want to be holding RB for exam in this example so that you'll be like pulling yourself back up using the rudders. Number five now, and this one gave me the most amount of trouble. Now this one is really hard to do. You want to be very slow and careful with this. I show it off pretty quick. So what you want to do is you want to come in from the south, and as you can see right there, you can see those two buildings. You want to like go down pretty low and then just hold LB in that example to pull yourself back up like so. Eventually you'll do it, but it takes a lot of time. Number six now, and this one is okay to do. It's kind of a tight gap, but I mean, they are slightly tall buildings. So as you can see, I'm approaching from north to south from here. Yeah, and it's just a, past this freeway, through there, tight squeeze, and you're through, like so. Nice and easy, easy peasy. Now again, this is no, another double building, sorry. And as you can see, it's at the north of the map, just by that viable place right there. I forgot which one it's called. But for this one, you want to be doing west to east. And as you can see, just squeeze it through there like that. And then what you want to be doing for this one is east to west. So you can literally just circle yourself back around again. And uh, you can see it's not the building you came out on the right, but it's the left one with the crane. And then you can just squeeze yourself through there like that. That one's a bigger gap than the other one, so that one's easier to do. So there you go, eight. So for number 9 now, you want to be at the kind of top right of the map by the raceway track thing majig up there as you can see. I'm good with words. But uh, you want to be approaching from the north, uh, I think it is, yeah. And as you can see, it's this building. It's a big gap, so it's easy, but it's really small as you get in there. Now it's very vital that you do clip the wing of your plane and you do spiral out of control and you do get wasted like that. Otherwise it won't unlock. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, so try not to crash like I did and uh, good luck. Okay, so for number 10, it's kind of at the top right of the map. What you'll need to do is, it's kind of in the same area, but just to the right, as though you're looking from the south. Just to the right of the building that we did it from before. So this time, you'll it's its a bigger gap as well, so you won't clip your wing like I did. So uh, just again, just make sure you're holding RB or LB, depending on which, way, which wing you've got down. And uh, yeah, so there's number 10. So here's where it gets a bit tricky, so number the rest of them now are kind of in this general vicinity area right here. So what you'll just need to do really is just do what I kind of do and then you should just get all five of these easily. So this is going from the west to the east if I'm not wrong, which I probably am. So you, for this one it's just that one right there and then it's easy, you'll fly off and then come around for the next one. This one's coming from the same direction again for 12 and 13, sorry that's coming from the north I think it is, I can't see on the map, it's coming from the north, yeah. So you'll just need to come around from here like that, so there's that 12 and there's that one. 13. So uh, yeah, and this is pretty, that one's pretty easy. So for number 14 and 15, you, when it loads, there we go. Come from the south now, this one's in daylight, so it's much easier to see. This one's very lower, lower to the ground as opposed to the other ones. So, and then there you go, 14 and then 15, and there you will have your sweet, sweet achievement. So there you go, that's how you get the achievement, close shave. Uh, if you didn't check out the previous part and you're just watching this video, I'll put a link or an annotation on screen right now, how to uh, do the under the knife challenges. But so thanks for watching, hope you like and subscribe and check out the GTA 5 Let's Play that I'm doing for more and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I am.